Hi, I'm here with Annabelle. Jack. Can you explain the Mr. Rogers project, please? So we designed a poster and two social media posts for businesses around Bregantine, and I did Holiday Architects. And I did uh, Casa Amar. Awesome, thank Karen. you. Karen, will you tell us about your project that you did in the Sessless class this marking period? We went around to businesses around Brigantine and made advertisements for them. Um, what business did you do? Castell Amar. Cool, thank you. So JJ, I heard you did a project in Mrs. Knopf's class. What did you do for the project? I did how to throw a baseball. Okay, how do you throw a baseball then? So first you get a baseball, and then you find the red laces on the ball, and then you put your tooth, you put your middle finger and your pointer finger across the laces like that. Then you put your thumb on the left side and your two fingers, your ring finger and your pinky finger on the other side. Then you want to bring your arm up like that and throw it. I'm here with Kendra. So Kendra, I heard you did a project, a how-to project in Miss Knopf's class of how to make a lava brownie. Why did you choose a lava brownie out of all types? I chose a lava brownie because it's like better and different than normal uh, and my aunt showed me how to make the recipe like a long time ago. So Addison, I heard you're doing a how-to project in Miss Knopf's class. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing for your how-to projects? I did a karate how-to project on how to break a board. Ooh, can you explain to me a little bit more on how you break a board? Um, you want to get into fighting stance and then you want to bring your front leg up, back leg up, and then you want to come down on top of the board. Oh, yeah. that sounds painful. I'm teaching everyone how to softball pitch. Wow, that's a exciting. How are we going to teach people how to do that? Uh, I'm going to bring in my glove and a ball. Well, are you going to go on this field right here, or is there anywhere else you're going to go to do it? Uh, no, when I'm supposed to be presenting, the weather's not going to be so nice, so I'll probably just do it in the comments. Wow, that sounds awesome. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. What project are you doing for your Miss Knopf's how-to projects? Oh, we already finished it, and it was how to make a jump shot on 2K. Dang, that's crazy. I oh, know. I hit a crazy poster too on the smart board. Can you explain to me a little bit more about like how like what 2K is? Uh, it's a basketball video game. It's, it's pretty fun. Dang, and what gave you the idea to do this project? Uh well no, I just kinda came up with it. That's nice. Thank you, Owen.
Today I'm here with a special guest from fourth grade, Gavin Emery. You may have seen posters around the school of Gavin, but probably didn't know why. Gavin is going to share with us why he is an ambassador for Children's Hospital. Welcome to this TV studio. So Gavin, what exactly is Walk for Hope? The Walk of Hope is something that CHOP is doing to raise money to find a cure for IBD. That sounds interesting. Gavin, what is IBD and how did you find out you had it? IBD is a lifelong disease that you get randomly and I found out about two years ago. What does IBD stand for? IBD stands for Inflammatory Bowel Disease. How old were you when you got diagnosed? I was seven years old. Wow, that must have been really scary for you. So, now you have a restricted diet. Is there anything else you do to stay healthy? Yes, I can't. I don't eat gluten or dairy, and I drink protein shakes to gain weight. So, tell our viewers a little bit more on how you are raising money. Well, there's an app that you can go to to donate. How much did you raise? We've raised about $3,200 by estimate. How can someone donate? Like I said, you can go to walkforhope.org on Google to donate. When is the walk? The walk is April 16th, 2023. Thanks, Gavin.